nice beautiful day today it was cold earlier and i got a little warm and yeah so let's go tj maps i'm taking back the one of the mango bag that was just to show you guys so i don't know what i'm gonna get we shall see guys we got TJ Maxx all together I will show you guys what I got on Sunday which is tomorrow so we are going to go to Panera Bread and grab a sandwich Remy and I and yeah that's more than that more than Sunday OMG who packed like this 
I mean, they, they squeezed themselves in here, didn't they? Gosh. Guys, we're going up the narrow bridge to have a sandwich. Sugar noodle soup that I usually have. Oh, okay. More sweet Okay. Where you at, Panera? Yeah. What's sweet tooth we got going over here? Just a sandwich. Okay, yeah, we're ready. To get yours. took away all their energy drinks that they used to have because a couple of people had a heart attack. So, I used to love their drinks, but now a couple of people passed. So, I'm just going to take the lemonade. Again, my neck. We are hungry. Where 
Yeah. It's good considered to be our, um, our dinner. And then, wait, no, not dinner. Lunch. Lunch. Sandwiches. What did you get? A uh, ciabatta cheese steak. That's what's taking so long. Sorry. <laughs> it always takes longer. Did you say well done? Or does it they don't ask. <laughs> they, they just say ask. okay. Yeah. Like, they don't say like, how would you like it cooked? <laughs> Plus, it's hot. It's part of a hot sandwich section, so it's not going to be cold. I swear the thing goes that your cooking was ready. But I don't understand why it shouldn't be ready. They're not cooking it all over. Because it says 15 minutes. Oh, okay. 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 I'm gonna cook it in the kitchen. My usual chocolate. <laughs> Good morning, to us. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's beautiful out in the neck of my wood. This is Jackie, aka Fabulous Jackie. It's Sunday, and you guys know what we do on Sunday. Get ready for church. So I just came out. Of the, I just took a shower, not a bath. Took a shower, and now I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear to work today. It's a little cooler out there today. When you have so much fall stuff, you get conflicted. And this is where your girl is at. I'm thinking about wearing this. 
We thought this dress was Prada, but it's actually it's actually Aaliyah. <laughs> Finally figured it out. So I have three of these dresses in. This is the longest shade. Super heavy. I'm feeling I can wear this. And wear my worth double breasted oversized lapel blazer. It's not worth anything. This is worth from the catalog. Super expensive. Just look at the fabric. I've had this for years. I would say 2000 and maybe four is when I had this jacket. So I'm thinking about wearing both of them together. Or I was thinking about wearing this um, skirt I got from Nordstrom's years ago. The Nas Sarah 4 when I work retail this was on sale when they had designer sale I had picked up this beautiful poofy skirt so I'm thinking I could wear this with this Zara crop jacket but then now I have to find something to wear underneath something else that I thought I wanted to wear was the Zara skirt but I need to steam it and I ain't got time to steam no time whatsoever this would have been good because it's oh do I have time to steam this I'm thinking Zara with Zara I don't know I don't know so my bed is a mess Oh, I was just thinking about wearing the same dress and wear the snakeskin um, Michael Kors snakeskin blazer. I don't know. But if I wear this blazer, it means I have to wear the snakeskin boots, which I don't know if I want to. I was trying to see if this was genuine leather. Feels like it. Michael Kors. Or oh, laminated something. I don't know. So we know not. I'm about to figure it out real quick. I have all of this. This is my suede worth. I've had this two since 2004. This is worth, not Worthington. If you're familiar with worth, not Worthington. This is not. Super suede. It has a suede skirt, which I have here. And I don't know what I do with it. This skirt still has this bias tag. Okay. See, W by worth. You will see that it's not worth anything. And this was on sale for seventy nine dollars. This two I've had for years. Little skirt in that suede is back. So I was thinking about wearing this suede skirt that I need. Oh, with my suede black boots. It's just, I just think that I will kind of save this for maybe a special occasion because I will have to zhuzh this a whole lot. And I don't want people in church looking at me like, where is she going? Yeah, we have those people. Even though they come and say, oh my God, you look so good. But it's an address for, for, for God, okay? Not for nobody else. All right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to do some makeup. Okay. My makeup table is a hot mess. It's a hot mess. But we're about to take a deep dive. Yes, I gotta turn it this way so you guys don't see my mess. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, makeup time. Nothing major here. Just gonna break the first a little bit. I'm using, still using my Maybelline Fit Me number 355. Number 
355 maybe i don't know what i'm doing i'm rushing rushing and putting it in the wrong spot not a makeup class it's just get ready with more c'est moi jackie oh c'est moi jacqueline it's me jackie okay. all right guys so Don't tell me when it's ready. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. All right, I still got it. The beating is not working. So where's my? Where's my? I'm using this big mirror right here, people. But then, because my other mirror is super far away. Super. Brushes everything, just evens it out. Fall is here. Are you guys having a good Sunday so far? I know it's still early to to say, "Oh, I'm having a good Sunday," but some people are early risers. I get up at nine o'clock, okay, people? I don't know what it is. If I don't have anything to do, I sleep late. And then I wake up late. And then I start rushing for church. Huh? There's some people who get up at six o'clock, seven o'clock. Yeah, I do get up around that time to use the bathroom, TMI. But then I go right back to sleep. Mm-hmm until <laughs> actually today we woke up i woke up at 9 20. yeah it is church begins at 11. but you know I, I i'll make it do what it do i will make it on time i shall make it on time or we will make it on time it's now 10 31. church begins at 11. so it's not that far Church is very close by. Maybe that's why I'm always late because I'm taking advantage. Like, oh, church is very close by. No need to rush, rush. And I would feel like I have time. Then before you know it, Remy would say, Mom, we need a girl. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I have dark circles around this area. So we're using Ageless Concealer. I was gonna use my Fit Me, but the Fit Me, I feel like it's very, very, yeah, very white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are going to just kind of dab this in. Yep, yep, yep. I know some of you guys are like makeup gurus. They'll be like, what the hell is she doing? But you know what? My end result always come through. I might not know what I'm doing. It's just... If I tell you guys, I think one time, no, only when I did modeling way back when, when I was young, that I have professionals did my face. Ever since then, I did my own. I do my own makeup. I don't need nobody to, to beat my face. I could beat my own face. Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry, Bob. Okay. Oh, okay. Shush. I opened the drawer and I forgot that my tripod was right there. Jeez, Jackie. Tripod. So I'm still going to use Pro Concealer Palette and still give it a little bit of density to it. So I am going to use this right here, I think. Yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. That's the one. Only because I want to. It's really not that necessary. But I just want to do that part. I need to hurry the hell up. Because I still haven't decided what I'm going to wear. I really haven't. When I finish this makeup, then maybe I will decide. Mm. All right. I'm going to leave that concealer there. Oh, no. Where is... Oh, my powder is in my bag. My Fit Me powder is in my bag. Yeah, I carried this bag yesterday and I always take my powder with me in case I have a shiny, shiny face. Okay, I don't like putting my bag on the floor, so we're not going to be doing that. Okay, let's put the powder. Another Fit Me by Maybelline. Number... 360. Why did I put it up there? I just highlighted that area. Ooh, cha. You think that I want to okay pull out everything being that I'm right in front. Let's do some setting spray. <clears throat> Underneath eye powder, I'm going to use this. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Use this brush. Let's do some blushy, blushy. Blush. Use the blush brush. I am going to use this palette right here. And give me sun kiss kind of look. This is good for brown and dark skin. Cool. Sure is. Just want to make sure I don't want to put too much because I still have to do a little bit of a little bit of rosy cheeks, but I'm giving myself a little bit of sun kiss vibe. Maybe a little bit more over here. Yep. I did add this part right here, and then on top of that, I am going to do a pink palette. This is too much. Maybe, maybe this one. Mm -hmm. I had never used this right here. If anything, I used to go ahead and use this Ageless palette right here. Because I think this one is more softer. Yeah. The other one was just way too much. So, yep. That's how I am going to be looking. Coming through. Let's do the, let's contour. I'm using some con contours, right? Concealer, actually. I still have the contour, though. 
Is this contour? No, concealer palette. But we still could use it. Where is my brush to do it? Well, I'm still going to go ahead and use this other brush. Because I need to put some dark circle. Wait, no, I don't want that brush. No. Where's the other brush? Where is that brush? Where is that brush? Yes, my brushes are... My brushes, I just throw them everywhere. So, huh, I'll use this just to draw right there. Is it even dark? Is it even coming through? I think I will use the other one. This one is not doing. That's not doing what it needs to do. Let's use this front pack right here. Not so dark, but no, 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 no. But it's good. It's just blends in. Okay, so our next situation. Uh, I'll try not to open. <laughs> Come on. Let's try not to open this so much. Let's go to the nose part right here. Contour my nose a little bit. Yeah. For somebody with such teeny tiny nose, I don't know why I contour my nose. I do it <clears throat> because I have my ridge is not there. So let's put a little bit of a little bit of shine. A little bit. this beautiful brush two-tone brush the other day from dollar dollar tree let's see how this works mm -hmm. oh mighty soft i think i've used it one time so that thing i didn't oh, i need to chisel my face my face is already chiseled so no need to draw no more darkness to that I already got it. Chisel face. All right. I mean, it's not quite chisel. It's more like an oblong. I don't know what, how you call my, my face. It's not round. It's, I don't know. I don't be knowing. All right. I'm trying to find my eye pencil in here. Let's look in the drawer. Eye pencil. Where are you? Okay. Here we go. Let's move back. It's like so close. I thought I sharpened this. Didn't I sharpen this? Then I've reused it. So. Do I know what I'm wearing to church? Have I decided? I would have really loved to wear the Zaya slip skirt, but I have to, ugh, I have to steam it and I ain't got time. There is no time to steam. No time whatsoever. Mm Put the other powder so I need to let it set in because I feel like I could see it. We're doing the eyeliner, and this eyeliner too is by 
Odo Eyeliner LA, LA Colors. Very soft, Dollar Tree. I'm not going to Sephora to go buy eyeliner. It's not going to make me look any better than I already look. Okay. People think that because you spend a lot of money on makeup, that's going to change the way you look. Not really. If you know what you're doing, you look the same. He's selling you all, but you know what? I'm going to check out. Gotta be nice. Yeah. They're selling us the, the name. That's what they're selling us. They're not selling us the product. So most of these things are made in China. Made in China. Every last one of them. Made in China. So where is my... All right. Let's do the brush. Let's do the eye... I makeup. I'm using this. What is this called today? Uh, Too Faced. Too Faced. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use. Got a lot of shimmer to it. I, I'm not I'm not a shimmer kind of girl. Only like at the top of my eyelid. Then, you know, I would do that right there. No, no, I wanna. I'm just gonna keep it minimal. There we go. There we go. Let's do a little bit of. I'm gonna do a little bit of green today. Something that I'll never do. Oh, somebody who was gonna keep it minimal. I just saw that green thing looking at me like, "Can you put me on your eye, please?" You know, I've never been used. She's just here being mighty lonely. <laughs> so I felt bad. Thank like, yeah, let's use you. Okay. So we are going to do some brown. I don't know. I'm feeling brown. I'm feeling brown here. I am. I'm feeling mighty brown. Oh, yeah. This with the shimmer right there. Time is it? Okay, we got time. So I say, I always say we got time, but do we really? Oh no, I did not do. Okay, so now I will do this pink, the heart, right here. A little heart, true face. Makeup is what we're using today. Mm -hmm. Let's blend. It's all about blending. Okay. So, we've blend that part. You might... I feel like... I feel like I want to... I'm just using the same brush. I feel like I want to darken this area a little bit. With this little dark green right there yeah i'm loving this eyeshadow palette so i'm experimenting the colors okay 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 back in the drawer you go oh so cool all right i gotta eliminate some stuff all right mascara this is by LA Colors too, Dollar Tree. Oh, I could use this for volume first before I do the other one. This is Dollar Tree too though, guys. All right, this is, let's use this. I wish I could 
go back into wearing false eyelashes because I have so many of them. But no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just gonna wear what God gave me. It's not much. Let it do what it do. Okay. Okay. So I am going to put a little bit of this on the ridge of my nose. I just realized it was bare, you know, kind of give you a little, you know, that I have a little pink cheekbone. So why not? All right. So lip liner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, when you use so much stuff and then you just throw them in there and then that time come, you're like digging in here like, oh, oh I'm going to use that lip lipstick. Ouch. You're digging in this. Jesus Christ. Or is it in the drawer? I just be doing the most. And I'm like, well, I have so many, but why can't I even pull one? Why? 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 Lip liner, where'd you go? Oh, yeah. there it is in my hand. I had it in my hand. Okay, guys, I still don't know what I'm wearing, and I, I got, ooh, I got 10 minutes to be out of here. Okay, I am going to stain my lips with this wine lip stain. Oh, God, I need to go. I need to go. How did the time catch up with me? All right, we're going to let the lip stain dry out before we do the lipstick. So let me go find something, what I'm wearing. But the face is beat. Let's put a little shine to it, to this. Okay, I got to rush. Rush, rush, rush. See you guys. All right, guys. I think I am going to wear this Alia dress. <clears throat> super long so on my feet i am going to do my jimmy Choo um wedge boots because i want to walk faster i want to keep up with remy and i think i will do my worth jacket but let me put this on do my hair and i'll be back all right guys i decided to wear the alia dress and i am going to put this belt over the worth jacket just to give it a little bit of oomph. I don't need the belt, but I want to put the belt on there. Oh, I gotta cover that because we're not showing all that in church. A twist. And this is going to go as such. I have a hat on. Don't know why, but I do. I just feel like wearing a hat. And, um, I need to put a pin so we don't have to show all this. But I don't know. But I'm good. I think I am. I'm good. It's for God. So. I have all my cuffs. I feel like I want to wear cuffs today. I want to be what? Superwoman. Haha. <laughs> Yes, I have to. I need to get a pin. I don't know, maybe put a pin right here. The only pins I have is Chanel. And somebody's probably going to say, oh my God, Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. But, uh, that's what it is. That's what they be doing. Because I can wear a necklace, but I don't want to show no cleavage. So, 
we are going to pin this baby. Let's put the pin. Let's put the pin right here. At some point, I will open the jacket. But for now, this is how it's going to look. I didn't do a good job, but you all know what I'm trying to do. Did not work out. I'm looking crooked. There we go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Remy's ready. And he's just like, where is she? Okay. Ready. Ready, Freddy. I am going to carry my Louis Vuitton croissant just to match what I got on. I don't know why this itches me. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys. Oh. We do Mugler Angel. Because we do hug in church. And I want to smell good. Okay. All right, guys. See ya. All right, guys. We're church ready. Rain is ready. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace. We're on time. All right, guys. We are on our way. Mm, yeah. took my 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 tree the tree of life i always pack under this tree i call the tree of life but it's okay we'll pack here today so i'll see you guys later bye there goes mr Freddy. yes oh i love them tennis shoes boy those are good which ones are those it's not like if he tells me, I would know. Look at my fly there, my dear son. So, see, we're not the only ones people. But I thought we were going to be. There's a lot of us out here. I told you it was an announcement to impact promise. So it's it's uh, in our app if you're ready. There's a section yeah. on the so later. Impact. Ready? Yep. left church as you can see when he's driving i guess he felt like driving he got tired i'm tired of being driven <laughs> so he wants to drive i was supposed to drive to church uh, but i didn't okay we're running late <laughs> yeah. so here's somebody and anyway we're going to get some starbucks -y. Because you are. We are here. I'll be there with you. Okay. Sounds like a baby. I know. It might be. You could, you could ask. Well, he'll say his name when he comes. Should I get hot or cold? Whatever you want. Maybe it's 
time I'll try hard. Yeah. It's like it's getting cold. Well, sorry about that. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good, how can I help you? Um, can I get a... Which one? Tall pecan tall. crunch? A tall pecan crunch oat milk latte. Hot or ice? Hot. Hot. No problem. And then, can I get a tall cinnamon dolce latte, hot as well? Okay. And then, uh, a decaf. tall decaf Americano, hot, okay. with uh, two Splenda and half and half cream. Two Splenda and half and half. Anything else? Yes. And then, uh, two butter croissants, well toasted, please. Okay. Extra oh, toast. wait. Ex I know who this is. Oh. Are you in the, in the passenger seat not talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what, Xavier? I could, I, what did I say? I said that sound like Xavier. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't I driving today. I, I was like, yeah. yep. And I saw the Jeep too, and I was like, yeah. Was like, <laughs> yep. For a minute, it sounded like you, and then it didn't sound like you. I was like, that sounded like Xavier. But then, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Eh? Good. Good. How are you? Happy yeah. Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah. Is that all you guys today? Yeah, that's, that's it. it. All right. I'll see you guys here before you do something. All, all right. right. All right. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> that he knows. Like yeah. <laughs> but then he kept talking. I was like, man, wait a minute. He seemed to have a little accent. Yeah. All right. We're waiting for coffee. <laughs> Oh, is it a bee? It's a bee. Oh, let me put your window yeah, up. up. God damn it. Sorry, I don't want no bee up yeah. in here. <laughs> I was like, why is she running yeah, away? Yeah, they're, they're all running. Yeah. They're, see, oh, yep, it just, it came yep. in here. Are you for real? I sure. think it just came out. Through let there. me not yep. open the window. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be in here. Yeah. Hey, come on, babe. Yeah. You don't need to come into my car. I want to get in here. It's going it's to. It's all. Yeah. 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 Remember this? Same exact thing happened. Yeah. Where, uh, when I was driving by car? myself, like the, oh, yeah? the bee was on the seat. It's like, you know, <laughs> that could cause an accident. Yeah. And I was like. <laughs> Now? Well, one of them. One of them, yeah. Yeah, and I was gonna say, yeah, they're fighting the bee over there. And this window and is then down. you're driving like, this way. Sure. You know. A bee love, they love me. I ain't gonna get stung. Make sure all the windows were, cold, were closed. Yeah, it is. Plus, they have so much grass over here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. There you go. Thank you. You don't want it to go in either. No. no. <laughs> oh, Nita. All right. So there's that one for Thank you. you. Close that window just in case. <laughs> yes, I'll be finding his way back in here. Okay. Okay. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Do we Thank have you. any napkins? Or straws, yeah. Okay. No, I don't need no. Oh, you need straws. Yeah, straw. I need straws. I don't. Thank you of so course. much. Oh, do you have um, any straws? Straw? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, like just one, just one. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You too. Okay. Right, so I let Xavier go. Yeah. <laughs> I know he just left. Like, what do you do? You want to go anywhere, Mom? Yeah, let's go to Uptown. Let's go eat in front of uh, Uptown. This is not as good as the cold one. I should have. I, I should have stayed with the cold one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Go. Is there any, uh, Parking. Oh Let's go park in front of Alta. Alta, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, Hold up. What? Um, yeah, go park. I was going to say Marshalls. So, oh, now. Sorry. You need to be vigilant. Go park right there in front of Alta. Yeah. Yeah, 
noticed it right yeah. away. Mm -hmm. I, I do too. I don't know if I like my pecan crunch hot. I just took a little taste oh, okay. and I was not liking it. Oh, should Signal I wait a little more? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like this and I'm regretting I should have taken the cold uh, no. not as sweet yeah nasty don't like it I don't recommend the pecan crunch hot it tastes Oh, oh god, I punched oh. myself. <sighs> what a mess. Yeah, I should have done the cold one. Whoever made this didn't do a good job. Not at all. Okay. In front of Alta. For the drink? Yeah, to eat my little mud for some. And then from there, I will move to Uptown Cheapskate and see if they have anything cheap. I mean, that is a cheapskate. All right. I don't like my drink, guys. I should just stuck with the cold one. And it's super hot. Hi right, guys. I'll see you later. Peace. Hey guys. We are back home from church. And it was a good service, guys. Still all about Paul. We've We've been doing Second Corinthians for the past week now, and yeah, that's what the sermon was about today. Church was good, and then we went to Starbucks, and I stopped at Uptown Chipskate, and now we are home. We are in the boudoir, my accessories closet. I did get some. Okay, guys, remember in the car I told you the um, pecan crunch oat milk latte was the heart wasn't good guess what it is good i mistakenly was drinking my husband's decaf americano which tasted like you know what like dirt so when he got home good thing i didn't drink it all because i was like this is nasty when we got home <laughs> Remember when I gave him his drink, which was my pecan crunch, he tasted it and go like, oh, this tastes some like caramel or something. I said, oh, hell no, that's my drink. Even though it's pecan, he don't know, he call it caramel. But I'm so glad, this is good. So you can get the hot pecan crunch oat milk latte. Mm -hmm. Yummy, even though I prefer the colder one. I was like, the, what I was drinking was this decaf Americano with two splendor and half a, half and half milk. And it tasted like somebody just made dirty water and gave it to me and put a little bit of sweetener. But yay, I got my pecan crunch. Starbucks. All right. So you guys know what this is all about. Let me wash it down with some water because now I have latte mouth yeah so on Sundays we usually come in here this is the only time I do my videos in this closet it's usually on Sunday because this is when I show you what's new in the closet it could be luxury it could be dupe it could be fashion <laughs> If it's brand new and it's something I'm keeping, I bring it up to this closet. If it wasn't something that I'm keeping, it will go down in the garage. 
okay? So let me put on my chair. Oh, yo, yo, yo. oh my bags are every kind of way. Look there. I was gonna try to get back here. Guys, do you know I had thrifted this uh, vintage Fendi with the sequins, but Fendi has just revamped, and this is going for like five thousand, whatever. I thrifted this authentic because it was authenticated. I think for like maybe thirty-five dollars an American way. When they were about to close, they were just selling stuff any kind of way. I'm so psyched that I have this. I'm just fixing my my Fendi section up here. I think when I was doing when I was doing a haul, I came in here looking for a bag, and I just kind of trashed the place up. And that was one of the best things I believe I thrifted. Well, price-wise, that and my Louis Vuitton multicolor hobo bag. My thrift game is is up there. I'm trying to compete with Hadrian, which he goes to all kinds of places, and I don't go to the places he goes to, to all kinds of places to source his bag in LA, and I don't go that far. If I did, it would be a game changer. But I'm, I just stay within my perimeter because driving is not my thing. And I can bug hubby all day to say, oh, can you take me to Santa Monica? Can you take me here? Anyway, we're here. What do I have new in this closet today? I have one luxury one luxury dupe and affordable line of two luxury bags so yeah i think i only got four bags to show you and then um i thrifted today a beautiful pair of boots they're not luxury but i love them from uptown chipskate while we were there that was like I went to go find a pair of boots that had fringes that I thought was my size, but then when I went there, it was a size six. You guys know sometimes a six be looking like an eight. All right, so let me mix these boots again before I show you guys. Yvra, whatever Yvra is. But anyway, so guys, if you're new here, this channel is all about affordable shopping, luxury dupe whatever if we like it we're gonna pull the plug yes we're gonna buy it if we like it okay we don't discriminate over here we just don't we go by what we like we don't we don't we're not influenced by anybody but ourselves okay all right so you know we're not we are not that girl we do our own thing and we look mighty fabulous doing it okay i'm gonna take this hat off because ah uh, yes I, I can stay so he can breathe all right guys so ouch 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 yeah so i went to uptown cheese chips get everybody like oh my god jackie in paris listen emily ain't got nothing on this girl okay <laughs> this is jackie in paris not emily okay nothing whatsoever but anyway enough of me talking I found these boots. I don't know. These are like, I don't know what you can see it. The bottom looks like this. It's a foreign brand. It's a brand that I've never heard of. It's Yivra. Yivra. Okay. I paid $13.99 plus my 10% off. Could have worn this today. Every time I go to Uptown Chips, Chipskate, I find stuff that 
I could have worn with the outfit that I'm wearing. But the thing is, my dress is super long, so this would have not these boots would have not done my outfit any justice. I just love the back of it. What is the gold line? The Y is is the Y for for Yivra. Where is this made? Made in. Even the um, zipper has the name on there. Where is this made? Is it made in China? I don't know. But the fact that I paid ten dollars. I mean, yeah, with my discount, it came up to $13 minus tax. Because today I didn't have a bag. And they just gave me, made, oh, made in Brazil. Ooh, cool, ooh, cool. Leather, upper, man made. So, oh, is it all leather? Wait a minute. It says leather. your glasses why do you do this to yourself okay. i'm gonna go into my bedroom and bring my glasses so rent i need my reading glasses on my nightstand please not the tv one the reading one yeah. so i can tell you exactly what this is because I, I myself i'm curious i see something i see two leather whatever so i want to see if it's leather sole because the sole looks like leather to me thank you appreciate that so let's see here got the glasses on okay it says oh they're both leather leather upper and leather sole made in brazil wow how cute i love it i love it for 13 dollars funniest thing is this wasn't they have all the boots that are hanging and this particular boots had fallen behind i was just happening look trying to find my french boots and i keep moving the boots from end to end and then i saw on the floor on the bottom these boots were just there they had fallen and they couldn't get up <laughs> they were just laying there in the back but jackie found them and not only did she pick them up she brought them home look at that 13 dollars for our leather boots where are you gonna find that at uptown cheapskate all right what else did i get from uptown it's really not, i don't do this here in this closet but i might as well show you and she told me when she was ringing them up that they had just put this out today waiting for me the leather junkie i got this beautiful leather jacket or blazer look at that look at the neck look at the sleeve <laughs> super heavy is the gap but it's genuine leather super super and then the inside is quilted and it is professional leather clean only it's a double x but it's really not because i tried it in the store genuine leather made in turkey ha -ha. made in turkey guys i will try this on maybe later on but i did try it on in the store and i only paid i had something else in my hand but then when i saw this i put it i put that back 19 dollars come on somebody 19 dollars look at the fur i can't wait to rock this so yeah this is more is staying up here i told you anything i show up here is not up for grabs so that's that that's what i got from uptown cheapskate now you guys will see me i did go to tj maxx yesterday my etsy bag is still not here people
my Etsy Mago bag is still not here. It better be here this week because I wanted it to be here so I can do the review. They gave me a credit for my other one because I'm like, don't play with me, people. And they gave it to me just like that. It's sad. So thank you, Etsy, for my refund. So I went to CJ Maxx to return that <laughs> mystique. Mago roll lookalike bag that was not. I just bought it so I could show you guys that you can go get good dupes from TJ Maxx. So, being that I already ordered one from Etsy, I'm keeping my fingers that that would be a good bag. I'm not doing no more Mago except it, it came, it comes across me without me really trying to find it. When I went to TJ Maxx to return it, I was like, ah, instead of return, let me exchange. I was going to get a Sandra Roberts bag, which was the first thing I picked out. It's like camo color. I don't know why I didn't get that bag. But it had so many. They had black, they had cognac. And what other colors do they have? Maybe off-white? Sandra Roberts make great bags. So I will get that another day. So instead, I got this Valentino Orlandi. Valentino Orlandi. Not Gravani. Okay? Not Mario. This is Orlandi. And this is vegan leather. Chris, let's see this. And this is the name. Do you all see that? So we're not trying to deceive nobody. Okay? This is Orlandi. This is vegan leather designed in Italy, but made in China. That's almost everything. And so just the retail price. Uh, I tell you, sometimes I feel like if there was a snake in our, around here, it would bite me because I don't know where I put stuff like triple times. Okay, so just the retail price is um, one size is 219. Color is bone. And it comes with it comes with an additional little wallet is what they're telling you but we didn't pay 219 now did we we got this at tj maxx you see the v and then it has their own orlandi a smaller v in the middle this is a twist lock open as such tj maxx the first place i've saw a Orlandi bag when they started making affordable bag was Adidas. Then before, then he, he moved into Marshalls, Burlington, TJ Maxx. So it's the same as Bagley Mishka used to be. I tell you, all these design houses are now making affordable bags. Once upon a time, Orlandi made, Valentino Orlandi made um, genuine leather bags made in Italy. I used to see those at TJ Maxx way back when. And then I guess maybe they are higher end bags wasn't selling as much so they decided to make like everybody else they decided to make affordable oh on the inside it says right here valentino orlandi and then it has that zipper they had it in this color i was looking for was i looking for black though because i have a couple of orlandi bags in the, in the boutique it comes with and those were very pricey. Now they've really gone down. When they first came out, they were pricey. So it comes with this little wallet. You can just take this out. God damn, everything is in in here. Just clip on, clip on. But I want to take it off. So, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. <clears throat> Do I have a scissors? Yeah. I want to take it out and show you guys how you can just use this by itself. It's not a pochette, so there's no need. If you want to hang it to your bag, you could. But this is this little cutesy right here. I will hang it in my bag. I will just throw it inside. I love that. You can throw credit cards in here if you don't feel like carrying your bag. You have this top handle. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
you have that top handle the back is plain just winter white you got the studs twist it i can put this in here or you can hang it loose it depends on you if you just want to show that it comes with additional wallet you can do that i'm trying to there was so much going on with this bag then they had a rounder one but i chose this east west kind of size a little bit east west not so extended but then they had a rounder version so you can use this handle or you can use a crossbody handle which says valentino right here valentino or landy i didn't say nothing else okay so all you fashion mongers out there this is a brand his name is valentino he can help himself his last name is olandi he's a designer if his name is olandi his name is valentino what is he gonna do go change his name to to gino or or, or to alfredo no he's ever he's his first name is valentino his last name is olandi he didn't say olandi valentino he says valentino olandi so you can use this crossbody which i already kind of did make a crossbody out of it that is if you don't want to wear it with the as a shoulder cute bag tj maxx for those of you who want to go to tj maxx this is the affordable line it's still considered it's a luxury brand okay valentino Orlandi makes a couple of luxury bags so don't be fooled and even here on all the um, clip-ons, it has Valentino Orlandi on every every little clip. And bottom line is this was only $24. It's not leather, and I believe that's why it was that inexpensive. Yeah. I love it, guys. Sometimes I like carrying bags that make people think like, hmm, what is she carrying? this is what the zipper looks like okay if you notice this this v does not look like mario oh snap i was supposed to to bring my vintage valentino back here which i'm gonna go get it hold up people hold up okay i had to say let me to go bring me my vintage valentino bag so let me show you the difference with my valentinos i have mario and i have gravani so let's look at it and see what it's giving okay so we can tell the difference because we're not here to fool no one Cuckoo. so here's mario how we use this mario hold on let me yeah that's it oh can you google schmuggle for me with a picture if you can let me see if you can pull up okay so this is what a mario valentino looks like the v is not cursive it's just straight v with a circle this is a mario valentino bag okay this is the first valentino house it just had the v this is vintage valentino before gravani this is just the regular valentino bag right here it does say caravani actually it is caravani so this is different the v here has a the circle is not all through hold on let me see something hold on people all right guys we're back i was showing you the vintage one of the vintage patent leather ones that i took to new york this is this is caravani so that's good not the same as that not the same as online if you notice here is my other caravani runway if you notice their their v's have a uh, a little square you see that right there this even though this one is a little rounder but it's the same this is the runway this is the newer ones and um yeah and you can tell by that dust bag 
Does it does back have the logo? It just says Valentino Caravani. So that's that. So I'm just trying to show the difference between online the the luxury house and you know I'm trying to show the difference between caravani and the luxury house. So, Here's the rock stone. Here's the other one. Look at the V. Can I see what the V looks like? It's not the same as online D. Online this V is different uh, as compared to Caravani. See that? And just online D. Online D is more of an affordable line. It's not luxury, what I'm showing you guys. So those are my So far, and I show you all of those. Where's my other bag? Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. This was Mario. I showed you Mario. Mario is a major circle. So Mario's V has a round circle. This is Mario Valentino. Okay. I mean, they do have a war going on. Mario and Caravani are having a little issue. I think Caravani is suing Mario saying that they had an, I think they had a, they had a, an agreement that their logos were going to be different. And this is the logo that Mario is supposed to use Why Caravani is using the little square one with a little opening right here. But I think lately Mario is doing bags that just say valentino on there especially especially satchels without really saying mario valentino it does say valentino but then in small print it says by mario valentino so i think caravani is not liking that but it is what it is as long as we like it it's all that matters see right here okay they're not saying they are caravani they are mario so back to back to my little back to Orlando that I got from TJ Maxx. Totally, totally, totally different. But his name, his first name is still Valentino. He can't help himself that his first name is Valentino. And being that he's a designer, he put his name on it. Okay, you can sue him for that. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna go around seeing people whose names are Jackie. Like, why is your name Jackie? Even when I was trying to, um, when I had my boutique, I was trying to put Jackie's boutique. I had to change my spelling because there was a lot of Jackie's boutique out there. And so, it is what it is. If you are named that name, why not? I just love the fact that it says Valentino right here. And if you don't watch, if you don't look at the whole thing, say, ah, psych, it's Olandi. <laughs> All right, so we got our TJ Maxx yesterday. Me and my son was out and about. The next thing I got is another affordable brand. May he so rest in peace. We did get, if you watch my my last Sunday vlog, you will see that I did get it back. Oh, I forgot to show you my other Valentino. Hold up. This is another V Valentino that I thrifted. And it's selling in a resale market for 400 and some change. It doesn't quite say which Valentino this is, but this is vintage. We did, I showed you guys this yesterday. In my other channel where the buckle says Valentino. Valentino. I'm gonna put a picture on the side. You can make this a crossbody or you can carry it as a bucket bag. It's up to you. But yeah, this is new for me. I love the fact that it's navy. I don't have that many navy bags. I have a few, but not that many. All right, let's go back to TJ Maxx, people. TJ Maxx. This 
Cavalli class. Hello. Cavalli class. See what it's, it gives you the Cavalli emblem. And then on the uh, crossbody strap, it says Cavalli class all over it. Okay. You guys remember how, um, um, what's the other bag that I have? The Hudson bags, they were like this, but did not Cavalli says, listen, even though he's passed away, may he's so rest in peace, his design team goes like, we need to step up our game and bring us affordable Cavalli, okay? Cavalli class. Luxury for less. That's what it looks like. Just, they had this. I think I only had two of these. Then I was trying to find another style, guys. You know, because if I see something I like, trust and believe, I'm gonna get it. Affordable, adjustable strap. Sorry, not affordable. It says Cavalli everywhere, Cavalli class, which is the affordable line. Got this at TJ Maxx. I exchanged it, and this was. They have a suggested retail price on this thing. Yes, they do. But let me see first see how much it was going for and how much tj max guys look at this and then on the back is just plain good old full leather but it looks like leather it does it looks like leather i love it it's another shopping crossbody shopping bag for me when i'm thrifting i can instead of carrying my chanel walks all the time so this is monogram with cognac so just their retail price 108 dollars style name is milan saddle bag crossbody milan saddle bag crossbody that's the price and um it's cavalli class and this was 24 TJ Maxx be dupe, just be giving us stuff, okay? I didn't see this in Marshalls. I mean, the brothers and sisters, but I only saw this at TJ Maxx. So I thought that you guys remember last week we got the bigger book tote. If you didn't see it, here's the dust bag. Cavalli class. Let me show you. Let's take off the dust bag. There you go. Beautiful, large tote. Weak fit. And this was only $29. But so just their retail price is $128. The name is Modina Top Handle Tote. That's the name of this one. Modina Top Handle Tote. It has a back zipper. That says Cavalli Class right there. Super cute. This one came with a dust bag. I don't know why the other one, and it does have a crossbody, which I just don't think anybody needs a crossbody strap for such a big tote. But this is another affordable, guys. I'm good for bringing you affordable, luxury affordable lines. I brought you all these other bags. We did Bagley Mishka, we did Jesse Wu, we did Ted Baker, we did some other ones. And nice Cavalli class. Hmm. Okay. Thank you to Jackie. Don't have to go break the bag on that one. All right. So those are the ones we got the TJ Maxx. Now, let me show you what I got from Amazon. I was never going to get this little clutchy thingy, but the hype is out there. And there's a lot of companies that are making ones that look just like it. And then there's people like Amazon that makes dupe. And then you have the gates that make the, the copy. So I went to Amazon and I got a lookalike. And honestly speaking, you guys, is the Adiamo. I still have the Adiamo um, other bag that I got, Bottega Adiamo. This is the Adiamo look alike 
I could swear I order a green. Sometimes, I don't know. I don't know if Amazon is just messing with me. Because when it came, it was this. It was, this is black. This is brown. I cannot tell you. But this is, I got this at Amazon. The seller is no longer, because I went back to go check to see what color I got. This seller is no longer. I'm like, what, huh? So, here it is. I don't know how the, the real one looks like on the inside. Hey, this is from Amazon. This is a dupe, so I ain't tripping. I think I only paid $48. Or was it? I forgot. It's it's no it's no more than sixty dollars. I know that. I've been waiting for this cutesy little number. So now I own one of these in the East West. So now I want to compare the weave of this dupe, the Idamo dupe, with the other one that I got from Amazon. Then compare it with my real Bottega tote. See if the the texture is there. If it's giving Bottega, okay. We ain't trying to fool nobody, but we just want to find some good dupes. Not nobody got money to be, I mean, some of you all do, to be throwing any kind of way. So we can look good on the ground. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So here is the other demo that this is, is this brown or some kind of olive? that I had gotten from Amazon, the one that was raving. So let me look. Yeah, they are kind of similar, I think. I think this one though, is the, the weaving is a little tight. They're both dupes. They are both dupes. So I guess this is black. So now I have the east-west kind. I don't care so much for the handle, but maybe because it was, it was folded down this is how i'm gonna have to carry this and you have other companies that are making these bags okay but with a different closure this one is giving you the little twist just like this right here so those two so let's see my real bottega tote let's see here mm, yeah that's a little different you can see this one you can actually see the leather on the real one and this one is just like tight very tight woven piece now sometimes when you want to buy dupes you want to make sure they are close to the real thing i'll say if you carry this once you know, now and you know taking a picture going even going out with your friends to eat and you put this on the table and she brings her real Bottega one ain't nobody gonna shun you and say oh my god your bag is not real whoop -de -woo -woo. <laughs> anyway then you'll be like oh my god really i didn't pay that much i don't care i do not care so yeah, this is straight up Amazon. The, the seller is no longer there, else I will link it for you guys. You know, it's a good to dupe. There's no markings anywhere. I don't know if the real one has markings. I don't, you know, but I just saw people doing this. I'm like, you know, Amazon. I took I sent back the other idea I mean the um the Mago roll bag that I got from them. Ship that back. I'm like, I need something that looks like the real thing. It did, but they like that that was leather. It wasn't giving me leather. It had no it had some kind of smell like it was leather mixed with something. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Last but not the least, I've been holding out on this bag I got from New York. I, from New York. I got while I was in New York. I've used it a couple of times. It's my Chanel Deauville tote. And I didn't even, when I, when I was at the airport, I didn't even put this in my suitcase. 
because I didn't want the fact that my suitcase was missing, this bag was gonna go missing. So I folded it really good and put it in my hand carry bag. And even the the guys that was checking bags talk about, well, you have so many bags. I'm like, uh, and your point will be mine, not yours. So is this woven black Deauville tote? Okay. Yes. Woven tote to veil. Got this in New York. Did I get it from the Chanel store? Did I? Does Jackie have it like that? You'll be the judge. But right, look at this. Super cute. So I was like, hmm. I could rock this with the rest of my Chanel's. And just, I did not want this to go missing. So I packed it. I folded it so badly. It's kind of more like, I don't know. It's not a straw. It has like a leather piece to it. And then it has a straw. But anyway, I love, love this. This is what the handle look like. It's canvas and then leather trim. So this i've been wanting to show you this bag for this bag for a minute and here it is voila today was the day the inside is burgundy i put stuff in there so you guys can see it i love it guys yay love it love it love it so that's what's new here get some some of my son's Chanel sunglasses but they're in my bedroom huh. yeah where are my Chanel glasses I was going to show you and anyway new in the house and you guys saw me what is in New York it's my Celine glasses I did get a couple of Chanel glasses but they're not here I will do that another day. When I do a sunglass collection, mm -hmm. super cute. Super cute. So, guys, I'm contemplating do I need to add. Uh, my girl that does my braids was asking me if I want to do my braids next week. And I really want my hair to, to relax. So, I don't know. But the maintenance of not having braids is just annoying. I got to grease my scalp. I got to do this. I got to brush my hair. It's like, and then I got to put my own cornrows. It takes a lot out of me. But when I have braids, I don't give it two hoods. I just wake up, put it in a bun, and I'm good to go. Take it out, and I'm good to go. But I feel like my hair, my scalp is saying, give me a break, okay? Because my hair is very thin, very fine. So I cannot continue to pull it. The next, If I was to do another kind of hairstyle, instead of braids, it would be cornrows. I would just do those big jumbo cornrows and pull it in the back for just about two weeks and then take it down. All right, guys. So that's what I have to show you today. My, um, I was, what did I carry? Oh, my jacket is by Wart, W Wart. W by Worth, sorry, it's not worth anything. I've had this for years and years, 2004 or 2009. No, not 2004. I think I got this. I started working at Chanel for 2006. So, okay, I think I did misquote you guys. I think I got this at 2007. At some boutique was going out of, out of business and they had all these worth pieces. And I couldn't believe that I picked a couple of blazers. This is one of them. I have a suede one. I have a suede skirt. I think I bought four worth blazers. Guys, look at this. The fabric of this thing. You see how heavy it is. You can wear it as such. But I put a pin because I was going to church today. And I needed to cover some cleavage. So... Or you can just wear it off the shoulder, which is super cute. But because I was going to church and I didn't want to show all these beautiful goodies, I said, you know what? Let me just bring it up another way I can wear it. 
if it's super cold i could put the pin right here and just cute but i know in my area it gets colder during the mornings but as soon as 12 o'clock gets by it start getting hot so when i pinned it i kind of did a little relaxed pin right there so but that's what i wore to church today and then it's a double breasted i have this belt that cost a whole lot of rave at uptown cheapskate i had thrifted this belt from i forgot where i thrifted this belt from i think hope of the valley or oh, goodwill i don't remember no it was goodwill and this is by the brand it's made in genuine leather oh it's max azria yes genuine leather Max Azria, genuine leather, size medium, and it's expandable. Let's just say I was wearing a thicker blazer and I wanted to, to belt it. That would be what I'm wearing. So this is what the jacket looks like. It's a double breasted. I don't quite like to do this bottom button right here because I don't know, I just, this, this gold thing gotta go i just think the silhouette is not as good so i left it open and i'm wearing the this dress is not i used to think it was prada until i finally google schmoogly like four times and it keeps coming out Aaliyah. so this was an Aaliyah dress that i have three different kinds this i have one that a little bit shorter like this and this one goes all the way super heavy fabric do you hear that ah super heavy fabric another way i can wear this i have lost weight so it's a little big on me another way i can wear this is just put the belt around it if i didn't want to put the jacket i could have Oh, man. I tell you, sometimes when you want to do stuff, that stuff be like not wanting to work with you. But anyway, for some reason, the turn lock is, is doing strange thing. Okay, here we go. I could have just worn it like this. But like I say, I didn't want to show my decolletage, my little boobies. So I decided, hmm, I would button the jacket instead of the belts so but i could have worn it just like this has a side zipper right there so cute 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 and it's uh it's a short sleeve some of you bought this dress it's an alia dress people i thought it was prada because it was giving you prada vibes but it's alia cute 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 My shoes, uh, my Jimmy Choo wedge, it's super cute. I got this at the real real. This was so comfortable today. I said, okay, I need comfy luxury. And Jimmy Choo boot shoes are actually very comfortable. I don't know what it is, but none of my Jimmy Choo shoes or boots, none of them hurt my feet. So this was super comfy so and then i was carrying my louis vuitton croissant the forest green medium size i should have used this i wanted to use this to put around my neck you know so it become a necklace and then use this the crossbody strap that's in here what did i do the crossbody oh i left it on my bed but I didn't want the bag to be so casual, so I decided to to wear it this way. So that's how I went to church. And then on my face, I was wearing my Chanel quilted green glasses, cause yeah, I was doing green. And then on my hair, 
I came up with an animal print. This was a last minute decision. I didn't know I was gonna go find a hat to put on. I opened my hat case. This was on the top. <laughs> this don't go with nothing I got going. But at some point I thought maybe it did kind of go. Okay, it was just a little zhuzh on my hair. Yes, if I tell you guys the amount of compliments I had today with this Emily in Paris looking outfit, I can tell ya, no matter where, church, my little stop by, people in the store, you look so nice. Yes, the world is your runway. You gotta look nice. You gotta present yourself, okay? The world is your runway. You can't come out looking all smugly, smugly, and you expect people. No, ain't nobody gonna tell you, you look nice on your PJ pants. Where they do that at? Where? Yeah. Except it's your boyfriend. I'm like, hey, baby, you look so good in those PJ pants. Let's go groceries. <laughs> anyway, so you guys watch me do my makeup. Oh, this earrings is by Rebecca Malone. I did pick this up at Didi's, guys. Rebecca Malone, I did this for $5.99. And another thing I picked up at Didi's was a set of five pieces of Bagley Mishka. Bagley Mishka. Um, hold up. Let me show you all. Hold on. Wait a minute. are already packaging stuff for christmas for the holidays so this was a bagley mishka set of lipstick look at that very well packaged look bagley mishka look very christmassy this is what came out of here this is the packaging right here i just took this one out and we have okay hold up Let's read what we have here with Bagley Mishka. We have Flirty. Is this is the first one? I'm not gonna take them all out. Flirty is the first one, which is this shade. Cozy is the second one, which is what I think I have on. And then we have Hypnotic. And then we have Pillow Talk. And we have Goddess. What do I have on? look like i have cozy but i could swear it looked like goddess but anyway this is what i have on the packaging is super cute i wish they had wrote the names on here so you know which one you have because i think when i open them i kind of put them up wrongly this is what i have it's showing red but it really isn't it's not red Remember, guys, I have a lip stain on. I have a wine lip stain that kind of gives you the Bordeaux finish. So, yeah. This is by Glimishka. I love the packaging. It was um, from Didi's. $5.99. And you get six of them. Six. Six beautiful lipsticks. Look at that. Look at that. I think this is, I think this is, oh, hold on, let me see, I was looking for the deepest red one, oh, maybe it was, no, this is true red, you can see, oh wow, this mirror, this, um, not mirror, this thing is making it look super red, but it's really not, because look at here. I guess it is. Yes, one of them. I was looking to see if they have a set of different colors. I love the 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 glass packaging. So this is what I really have on. I thought it, it was almost close to my nail, but it's really not. See right there. That's what I have on today. And like I said, I have a lip stain, so 
it's hard to really tell what it is. Okay, let's take this off. It's hard to tell what it is. So yes, guys, the holidays are coming. Do not sleep on Didi's discount. If I show you, ho, ho, I have a Didi's haul that's going to rock you guys' mind. You'll be like, what, that came from Didi's? Just wait and see. Wait and see. Before I bring you that haul, I want to check. I checked my DDs yesterday. I was looking for for something to see if they had what I found in my DDs. I thought maybe they had it in black in another DDs, but that other DDs didn't even have what I was looking for. So there's another DDs I got to go to way very far. Still in my twin city. I will go there this week. Because I know they don't have those in the city. Because if they have it in the city, they're gone by now. So, they send them in this little suburban area where they feel like, okay, these people ain't going to go to these luxury stores. Let's give them some kind of luxury lookalike or luxury itself or brand name itself. I don't want to mess up my dress. I to take off the, uh, the lipstick. See, it's not easy to take off, you know, so... Look at that, still there. Bagley Mishka. And then I did stain my lips with this plum color. So yeah, this is the earrings. This is the back of the earrings, Rebecca Malone. This earrings right here. And I paid $4.99. And then I was wearing two of my, my hammered cuffs today. Uh -huh. No necklace. I was just going there because my jacket was overlapping. So, all right, guys. So that's my that's the end of my video. It's going to be a weekend vlog because I will show you guys where I went to TJ Maxx. I will show you guys where me and Remy was a mother and son day. We went out to grab a little sandwich, and he went shopping with me. Mind you, shopping is not his thing, but he was happy to drive me. I'm like, I just want to chill, so can you drive me? I love when people drive me. I'm, I'm like, I need a chauffeur at this point of my life. I don't like stressing. But, I mean, I would drive. I love, you know, but it's really nice when somebody else drives you and you just sit there. So he did the driving, and we spent the whole day together. I even took him thrifting, which is not his favorite thing to do. But he sat in the car and... Being that I was there so long, <laughs> taking a video, he had to come in and say, Mom, I'm kind of hungry. Let's go. So, we did. So, guys, and I'm smelling like, um, what am I smelling like today? Where's my, where's my, I have it here. I'm smelling like Mugle, Angel, the star. This is what I'm smelling like. Okay. I think I covered everything. Everything. The only thing I didn't cover is tell you guys what underwear I'm wearing. If I was wearing TMI, okay. <laughs> but anyway, what the hell is this thing? How did this fall off? Unbelievable. Why? This is shameful. I didn't even notice that that was down. We're doing all this video. My thing is down. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. I appreciate you. These boots, super cute, super, super cute, genuine leather, everything. I think somebody wore it maybe a couple of times and said, yeah, I can walk in this. But if you're a girl that can walk in heels, why the hell not? All right, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so when your girlfriend here uploads, I appreciate you. We do nothing but classy videos here. We don't do schmuggly schmuggly trends. We don't try to, to to butcher stuff so we can look the part. We just go find stuff that looks the part. But we don't pay that much money. Mm -mm. Classy. Not trendy. It could be trendy and classy. But we're mostly classy. We buy stuff. Guys, this dress here is... I, I thrifted like four of them or was it five of them I think a store had closed 
and this was when i first started thrifting so i'm going to say three years ago yeah what's now 2004 when was covid 20 so i think i thrifted this at 2021 so classy pieces that you can still pull out without saying oh it's out of style when is this ever gonna be out of style where okay classy in a couple of years i pull this out it's still gonna be good all right guys that's all i got for you today i appreciate you i hope you have a blessed sunday spend time with your family and i don't know we were supposed to go to the movies today but i don't even want to we shall see i just want to go feed my face i am tired okay you know, creating content is a job, people. That's why we get a little change, because it's a job. If we were just standing here, chicky, 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 talking, and nothing is, nobody's putting money in my pocket, trust me, I ain't going to do it. But you got to work your way. Not everybody is getting, has had that, that number of views to be able to get paid, so you got to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. I have reached my threshold when I started YouTube that I could be making money, but I forgot I didn't monetize. I didn't care until... I got a notification saying monetize your channel because I had already passed and I actually got some back pay. I'll be like, oh, that's how this works? Because I ain't know. But now I know. All right, guys. See you later. I keep saying that. Blessings and I love you. Please subscribe and give me thumbs up. Share my video so you, you give me thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload and share my video. I appreciate you and I love you. If you're new here, please subscribe. It's free, free, free. It's a sisterhood and a brother and brotherly love. Okay. All right, guys.